Hello everybody, Taylor Brown here with String Fairy. In this episode, I'm going to show you guys how to create a cracked ceramic vase in Blender Cycles. So let's get started by deleting the default objects. A and X delete. Let's create two curves. This and this. And then we will use the curve here as the bevel object for this circle. Now this looks terrible right now. So what we can do is just go to edit mode for this curve over here. Just rotate it by 90 degrees on the Z axis. So R, Z, 90. That's pretty good. Now let's just shape the base. And like this. Like so, it's pretty good. Okay, now let's convert this to a mesh. Convert to mesh, delete this uh, curve right here, and then just go into edit mode and create a face right here, like so. Let's add a subdivision surface to the modifiers right here. And right now it's pulling the end gone, so it looks really bad right here. So what we can do to fix that is just inset this with I, and again, and because this is a flat surface, it doesn't really matter that it's end gone. It's only pulling the outer edge loops right here. Perfect. Okay, now let's add a solidify modifier. Move it up. And increase the thickness here. Somewhere in there is good. And then just add a loop cut right here. Okay, let's add a background to this. So shift A, mesh plane, scale up by five, S5, and then just extrude the back vertices up. E, click, G, and Z, and drag the mouse. Scale on the X axis, so SX, then select the base and press Alt G to move to the center of the uh, background here. Move it up, G, Z, Then add a bevel for the background here. And smooth shade this. Like so. Go to the front view and then add a camera here. Press control alt numpad zero to get the uh, camera to the viewport view. Move to the side, hold in G. Then G middle mouse wheel to scroll in onto the object here. Like so. Let's render this out. And let's see this in cycles here. Use the GPU. Turn it on in the preferences as well. Right here, if you have one. Now, um, we need some lights for the scene. So let's add a mesh plane. Move it up. Let's give this an emission. Selecting the surface and pressing E. Increase the strength, something like uh, 20. And then uh, add a constraint, damped track. Set the target to the object here, which is the space. And then pin it to the Z axis. And now this will leave us of the pain of um, rotating the mesh constantly to get different lighting scenarios. We can just move it around and pan to the object at all times. Like that. One simple light's good. Okay. Now let's add a new material to this. Give it a white ceramic. Like so. And then let's give the world a black color and also crunch in the black on the curves. Okay, good. 
Let's go into the shader editor and start on that crack ceramic. Let's turn on the no ring add on. This will help us uh, view each node individually and add tags to setups. So let's go and turn it on right here. And let's add a Voronoi texture. Press control T to add a texture setup. Press control shift left click to view the node individually. Let's use the object coordinate. That way it's not touching to the object. Apply the scale. And let's uh, use the crackle feature output. Change the scale from here, something like uh, one. And then let's uh, make this a little bit more uh, curvy for the um, shards here. Let's add a noise texture over here. And mix this with the object coordinate, which is what it originally had. Change the detail, something like uh, zero. Change the scale here from like uh, to something like 0.2. Move it over somewhere around there, it's good. Let's copy the Volna texture. And press Control shift left click to view the node. And change the scale, something like uh, 5. Or something like 3. Now we want these smaller shards to be um, forming along around the cracks of these larger shards. So what we can do is just grab a mix RGB. Plugs into the bottom color socket and choose overlay. Then grab a color ramp right here, move this in. Then we can also add some more. Add another Volno texture. Plug into here. And change the scale here, something like uh, 10. Then just mix this with another overlay. View this now. Control shift left click. And just plug this into a bump in the height. Plug this into the normal socket. And press control shift left click to uh, plug the principal BSDF into the surface. And lower the strength here. And move this in a little bit. And plug this into the base color. Move this in a little more. And add a color ramp right here as well. Let's grab this light here and just copy it. Shift D. Move to the other side. Scale it down a little bit. That looks pretty good. Okay. Now let's make each of these shards uh, bent in different directions. So let's just copy this setup right here. And then just change the settings here on these mix RGBs to mix and mix. And change the coloring to cells for all of these and change the future output to closest again. Cells, closest, cells, and closest. And approximately match the appearance of what's down here. Okay. Let's, uh, Plug this into a noise texture in the vector and mix this 
with a texture coordinate node using the object as the bottom color. And what this, uh, what this setup here is doing is that it's offsetting the texture coordinate for each shard. Let's change the scale here, something like uh, 0.2 or something like point, something like point 0.6. Focus into the height of a bump node. And we can also add a math node right here and just uh, multiply this value a little bit higher, something like uh, four or even 12. Plug this into the original, the original bump node in the normal. Do this. Now each of these shards are popped at a different angle. Move to the side, right here. And we can also use this right here, right here to color the shards. Got a mix RGB, plug this into the factory here, and then just choose some colors here. Something like that's good. Plug this into the base color. Let's view this. Move this up slightly. Someone there is good. And that is how you create a cracked ceramic vase in Blender Cycles.